Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm George and today I'm going to show you the correct way to use an artist palette. So when I first started painting, I'd see these in art shops, but I didn't really know quite how to use it, why it was made in this shape. And I think I would just hold it in, you know, anyhow. And I see a lot of artists still kind of holding it from one end or putting their thumb through this bit like this, or, you know, balancing it on their finger. I'm gonna show you how to hold it correctly, how to lay out your paints, how you can have the palette so that you can hold all your brushes and your medium. So the first thing is how to hold it. So this palette is actually made by New Wave, slightly different to the very classical kidney shaped palette which I guess this is an example of one which I use for watercolour. Um, the nice thing about this palette is that it has this kind of curved um, side to it. And what you can do with that is you can rest that against your hip, against your body. And even if you have just a normal traditional kidney shaped palette, You'd hold it in the same way. So the main thing is that your arm rests under the main bulk of the palette. That means you can have your hand nice and relaxed. If you're holding it the other way around, your hand's going to get really tired. Also, by having it this way, my hand is free to hold my brushes. So here you can see I can hold my brushes in my hand whilst I paint and then I can paint with one brush, you know, paint like this. Then when I want to swap brush for a different colour, a different area on the painting, I can change brush and paint like this. So here I'm going to show you how I lay out my paints on my palette. You don't have to lay out your paints in the exact same way, but it's good to have some order. So the way I do it is I do it from light to dark and from warm to cool. So once I've got all my paints on the palette, I've also attached my medium pot to the palette. And as you can see, I can hold all my brushes in my hand. And what I would say as well is don't be worried about holding your brushes all at the same time, because the way the brushes are designed is they have this curve in the middle of the brush. So they don't actually rest together so that the hairs of the brush don't touch each other. Also, one thing to note is that the way I've laid my paints out is I keep all the paints at the far edge of my palette as I don't want to put any of these paints too close to my top on this side of the palette because if I do that as I paint, I'm going to get covered in paint all over my clothes, which still sometimes does happen. Um, but this way it's, it's easier to be neat and tidy. So another thing I do when I paint is using some kitchen roll, I tear this um, into a few sheets. So basically when I paint, I can, once my brush is you know, covered in paint and everything, and I want to paint a slightly different mix down on the painting, I can dip this in my medium and then wipe the paint off on the tissue, put this brush into a slightly different mix and then put that down. And this stops me from getting muddy colors Another thing you can do to avoid uh, getting your, your mixes becoming really dull and muddy and losing that bright chroma that you can get from mixing just pure paints is I use my palette knife to mix the main mixes. For example, I'm going to mix a flesh tone here. So using my palette knife, I take some of the titanium white, some of my Naples yellow, touch of my, this is pyrrole red actually touch of my pyro red and a touch of my very small touch of my phthalo green and then when I mix these two together add a bit more white a bit more white and notice that I use my palette knife to pick up the paint I'm not going in with a brush and putting the brush in this mix and then that mix and then the other mix because if I do that all these pigments will become quite messy and they will lose the brightness 
that they have of just being an individual pigment. So when I do touch these pigments, I'm just using my palette knife. So that's how I use a artist palette. This is the way that I was trained to use an artist palette when I went to a classical atelier here in London. And I hope you found that useful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can follow me on Instagram at George Frederick Thomas. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.